This week we're doing rockets. Hi friends, it's so good to see you. I hope you are doing well, staying healthy, staying safe. This week's project, we are gonna be making rockets. We're gonna make these little paper rockets that you can shoot off with a straw. I had a lot of fun building them myself. My kids had a lot of fun. We're also gonna be doing, or there'll be an option for some side projects if you have some extra time. They require more supplies, but we'll get into that later. So our project for today, it's all about the scientific method. The scientific method, is all very similar to the engineering design process. You have to uh, come up with a question. That's the same thing that you do in the engineering design process. You have to figure out what the question is. So today's question I'm gonna give to you is how will the length of a paper rocket affect the distance that it can fly? So you are gonna be creating several paper rockets that can be launched from a straw. You will then predict which rocket you think will fly the farthest. So the scientific method, first you have to come up with a question. Then you're gonna observe and gather information in order, up to, in order to come up with a hypothesis or a guess. So you're gonna be guessing which of these rockets is gonna fly the farthest. Then you're gonna conduct your experiment, you're gonna do your, the, the research, and you're going to look at the results. And then if you, have, uh, if you need to, you can continue that experiment. So very similar to the engineering design process, just a little bit of a different name. So I'm gonna go over this sheet. There is a sheet to download in the video description. So make sure you check it out. It's four pages long. It's gonna give you the instructions of how to build those rockets. You're gonna need pencils, uh, scissors, tape, straw, and if you have it, a measuring stick. This will help uh, fill out the, the sheet. There are a few questions that you need to answer for me. And then here is the log where you're going to keep track of the distances that each one flew. So the measuring stick is for, uh, if you see over here, you're gonna put the length of the rocket and then here's the, the trials that you go through. It. Now down here on the sec or the third and the fourth page, here are all the rockets. I put them all on one page just to make it nice and easy. All of them different lengths. And here are the fins. The fins you're going to all these things you're gonna color in and then you're gonna cut out. These fins are two sets of fins. You cut them right here in the middle. So it's a super fun project. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I'm going to show you my table of where I have it all set up and also show you a little side project that if you have the time or want to try to do it with uh, your mom or your dad, you are more than welcome to try it out. All right, friends, so here's the breakdown of the project. You got the four pages that you will be printing out from the link below. You are gonna color them. You are gonna cut them out. These are the fins, you're gonna cut these in half. These are the different size bodies that you will be wrapping around a pencil. You will use the point of the pencil to make the point of your rock rocket, just twisting it on there and then adding some tape. Super simple, but a lot of fun. My kids made a whole bunch of these. I made a whole bunch of these. And we also did a side project that you probably saw in my little intro video. We made our very own homemade stomp rockets. For those, you need a different size rocket and you also need some PVC pipe. So here's that side project that I was talking about with just some half inch PVC pipe, a few fittings and a two liter bottle. You can make your very own stomp rocket. I will have the template available for download in the video description. You'll also see my Dropbox link and my Instagram link down there as well. So check those out. If you want to send any videos or pictures, I would love to see them. I would love to make a video at the end of the year and send that out to parents. So if you wanna be a part of that, feel free to shoot me over a picture. Take care, miss you guys, and see you next week.